All right, guys, here we go. It is June 22nd, which means we do have a brand new roster update on MLB The Show. It literally went live maybe like two minutes ago or something like that. We still have all the old content here on the homepage. It hasn't even updated yet, so I have not seen the roster update. I've seen one player that went up, but he was already a diamond and went up farther, so that's it. So let's go ahead and jump into the roster update and see who went diamond, if anybody. Let's see who went gold, who went silver, all that stuff so here we go guys roster update for june 22nd let's start out well we already see chapman went up so i'm gonna do it like i always do how i go uh by starting pitchers and stuff like that so jose barrios went from a 78 to an 81 overall gold plus four to his stamina plus four to his hits per nine plus two to his case per nine and then plus five to his walks per nine so hey he went gold this was a guy that i was thinking about investing in earlier in the year but over time i started to to sell or quick sell my cards and stuff so i mean i wish i would have held on to him obviously but it is what it is um let's see uh mike fultinowitz went up to a 77 nothing crazy in starting pitching and you know the big one that i am looking for that's not here is of course garrett cole once again garrett cole staying at a gold not going to a diamond really nothing changed in starting pitching other than jose barrios going to a gold it was a pretty basic week no no real major upgrades there so now let's jump into the relief pitchers Ken Giles, he just changed overall position. Will Smith went from a 74 to a 77. He is now a silver for the San Francisco Giants. Uh, plus 7 to his hits per 9, plus 7 to his walks per 9, and plus 6 to his home runs per 9. Kelvin Herrera, nothing got upgraded with his attributes, but he did get traded to the uh, Washington Nationals, so they just upgraded where he is now. So he's now on the Nationals 40 man. Um, saying one oh the same. Kirby Yates went up to a 76, so a new silver over for the Padres, plus 7 to the hits for nine um tony watson hey my boy tony watson went up to a 75 i love tony watson's card in the show I, I i don't know like his his delivery all that stuff i really like using him in the pen so tony watson went up to a 75 uh having a really good year plus 10 to his case for nine so that's really good uh let's see what's next um and most of this stuff is still wow brandon mccarthy took a huge hit wow well they just changed his position i don't really know what they did to Okay, so he went to a relief pitcher, but he's at a 70 overall now, huh? That's interesting. Okay, so Brandon McCarthy got a huge hit, but okay. Um, and the rest of the stuff is kind of more basic stuff, kind of like, eh, whatever it looks like. Um, what about downgrades? Um, any notable downgrades? Nope. Okay. Moving on to the closing pitchers, Araldis Chapman, who we saw on right at the beginning. He went up to an 87. I'm lucky that I already have this card. I completed that Yankees collection. Uh, plus five to his hits per nine and plus one to his case per nine. Those hits in case per nine are insane. Uh, plus four to his home runs per nine, plus 10 to his clutch. Chapman is, is pitching more like Chapman this season, so, uh, it's good to see that for him. Up to an 87 overall diamond now. Still pitch speeds are are slow in this game so the fastball is not going to be as effective he's not going to be as effective this year as he was in years past so it is what it is but yep uh pedro strope just made his change to a closer blake trinan he just went up to a silver recently and now he's up to a 78 so he's starting to knock on the doorstep of being a gold plus seven to his hits per nine plus five to his case per nine plus two to his walks per nine and plus two to his home runs per nine so good week for blake trying right there definitely a good week hector rondone change position um a lot of these guys just changed their their primary position and that's why they're not really having any attribute changes all right well that's it for pitchers guys no garrett cole so unfortunately that is that is the case so let's see if anybody actually went diamond in terms of position players let's take a look so for catcher jt real muto went up three wow so they gave him a plus five contact versus righties boost with a plus 12 power versus righties boost they brought his contact uh, versus lefties down four uh, vision down to discipline up four, but he did get a nice fielding boost plus five to his fielding and plus five to his arm strength So good job for JT real Muto right there. He's almost hitting 300. So good for him Here it is guys the upgrades or the, I'm sorry the downgrade that we have all really been waiting for Gary Sanchez, he's still gonna be good like people were starting to think that like he's gonna be completely not usable in the game He's still gonna be pretty good man. He might he lost 11 to his contact versus righty. So that's down to a 72 minus six to both sides on the power minus two to the vision and plus three to this one so honestly this card is still very usable guys it's not 
as bad as everybody was expecting. Like, you know, some people were saying he's going to go silver. I'm like, you guys, he's still got like, you know, almost 15 bombs on the season. The power is still going to be high. The contact should be lower, you know. So people were really uh, thinking Gary Sanchez was going to go down a lot. I wasn't. I was thinking he'd probably go to an 82. So good to see him there. All right, Salvador Perez. He went down one to an 82 overall. Minus seven and minus five to his contact. Plus seven to his power versus lefties. And plus three to his discipline. boy. Uh, Evan Gaddis went from a 74 to a 76, so he is now at a silver for the Astros. Plus 7 to the contact versus righties, and plus 8 to the power versus lefties. I was looking at this guy as, as you know, possibly an upgrade, but I didn't quite think he was going to get there yet. But hey, prove me wrong. GG, Evan Gaddis. All right, let's move on to first base. Paul Goldschmidt went up to an 86. I've been waiting on buying Paul Goldschmidt off the market just to see what would happen, like, you know, because he hasn't been playing as well this year. Um, so... Yeah, uh, he's going up now, so maybe it's about time that I buy him before he keeps going up. But yeah, he got a plus three to both sides, or plus three to both uh, attributes against lefties, minus four to his discipline. So he's now at an 86. Matt Adams went up to a 78 overall silver. They just changed his primary position, so he didn't get any attribute changes. Jose Martinez went up two to a 78. He's having a really good year. Plus three to the contact versus varieties, plus five to the power versus varieties, plus five to the vision, and minus two to the discipline. Mark Trumbo got... Uh, changed back to a first baseman. Um, Jerickson, Profar, John Hicks, Chris Davis went to a common. Wow. Chris Davis is now a common. I mean, hey, if you're hitting 153 with four bombs and you're supposed to be a power hitter, yeah, you, you definitely shouldn't be up there. So, wow, Chris Davis is a common. That's crazy. Luckily, we have that diamond Chris Davis in the game. All right, moving on to second base. My phone's ringing. Go away. Sorry about that, guys. Glaber Torres up to a 77. He is uh, having a very good start to his career. Plus two to his contact versus lefties. Plus seven and plus 12 to the power. Minus six to the discipline. Gla this, you know, live series Glaber. Cool or whatever, but I don't really ever see myself using the live series Glaber because of that diamond Glaber. So, you know what? His card still is not bad. It's actually a pretty decent card. So, good for him. Um, nothing else really notable over in the second base category. Third base, uh, Eduardo Escobar. He got a plus five to his contact versus righties, but didn't go up to a gold. Hmm. This is one of the guys I really thought was going to go up to a gold. Um, man, only a plus five to his contact with the numbers he's putting up? That's crazy. Whatever. Staying at a silver. Uh, Miguel Sano went down to a bronze. Miguel Sano having a rough go this year. Minus eight and minus three to his contact. Minus five, minus five to his power. Minus three to his vision. Minus seven to his discipline. My phone is literally blowing up guys i don't know what to do uh pablo sandoval got his primary position changed so wow i'm still shocked that escobar oh i get it now escobar got a plus five uh to his contact for his righties but they changed his position to a third base that's why okay maybe that's it whoa trevor story went up to a gold damn Wow, I didn't think they would give him a gold already, but he got a plus 12 and a plus 4 to his power and contact versus lefties, plus 9 to his vision, and a plus 1 to his discipline. Damn, they gave him a gold and he got plus 11 to his speed. Ah, this guy right there, that's actually pretty key. Damn, I really didn't expect him to go gold this quick. I was expecting him maybe to go to 78 or 79, but all the way to an 80? That's crazy. All right, good for Trevor's story. Um... Left field, Ozuna. Yes, one of my predictions was right, guys. I actually made a good prediction. Marcel Ozuna did go gold. Plus seven to his contact versus righties. Plus seven to his power versus lefties. And plus three to his vision. So he's up at an 81 overall gold. Thank goodness I got one. Uh, Ryan Braun went to a silver. No longer a gold. He's got a new position and he got some attribute changes. Minus five to his contact. Minus four to his power versus righties. Minus four to his vision. And minus four to his discipline. Uh, Corey Dickerson got a bunch of upgrades and downgrades, but he stayed where he is at a seven. 77 plus two plus four to the contact minus five minus two to the power plus eight to the vision um check out center field lorenzo kane went up one to an 83 minus three to his contact versus righties plus three to his contact versus lefties plus two to his power plus seven to his power versus lefties and plus 11 to his discipline leonis martin went up to a silver plus 16 to his contact versus righties plus seven to his power versus righties damn leonis martin got a great upgrade against righties uh brandon nimmo from the uh new york mets having a very solid season plus 14 and plus 12 to the power plus four to to the power versus lefties minus three to the vision so good for brandon nimmo right there i know my boy nick clams is happy dexter fowler dropped three overall he was at a silver now at a 72 overall bronze 
uh, minus 5, minus 10 to the contact, minus 4, minus 4 to the power, and minus 4 to the discipline. So nothing but downgrades for Dexter Fowlers. That ain't good. Um, let's see. What else we got? Sorry, my dog started barking. But Shinsu Chu went up to a silver. Dang, I liked using this guy as a bench bat for the event, so I don't know if my overall is still going to be usable with him. But anyway, plus four, plus seven do the numbers against righties with plus five, plus five to the discipline. Uh, Sh Scott Shebler went up to a silver at a 75 now, plus 14 to the contact versus lefties, minus five to the power versus lefties, plus four to the vision at a boy. Jose Bautista got a new primary position. Nick Williams, same, and Abraham Almonte, same. So there you go, guys. That is the roster update. Kind of like I predicted, I didn't think anybody was going to hit diamond um it, it just didn't really feel like anybody had that big week or that big um you know couple performances that would give him that little bit of a jump even garrett cole a guy i have been campaigning all year for to be a diamond is still not there um i think he's the most deserving candidate and then maybe you start to look at guys like george springer afterwards i still don't think george springer's quite there but overall um this update was kind of what i expected it was a little bit underwhelming with uh, a couple of the guys like um um, Ozuna was the only guy I predicted that went gold to actually go gold. Like, Matt Duffy didn't even go silver. Um, Vizcano didn't go silver. Escobar only went up uh, with contact. Trevor Story went up to a gold. That was crazy. So, man, definitely a uh, an interesting roster update. But, hey, guys, that's what we have for you today. There will be more. Um, uh, oh, also, we got... I didn't even see this. Look at this, guys. Hang on. Juan Soto and Jordan Hicks are in the game. I actually didn't even know this. I didn't even realize this. Juan Soto is in the game. Here's a look at his numbers. If you guys can see right here, this is his card. You can pause the video. And Jordan Hicks, 99 VLO with 78, 76 to start off. So there you guys go. They're finally in the game. You can stop asking about it now. I didn't even realize that. Thank goodness this thing popped up. But guys, we have more content today. There will be another video on the channel going over all that stuff. So make sure you check that out. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.